Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a lip declutter, but not your average declutter because I'm going to be trying on every single one of my lipsticks so that I can decide which ones I really want to keep and which ones I don't. I just feel like this is going to allow for a little bit more of a, an intentional declutter um, because I'm going to actually be able to remember what they look like on my lips, compare them to each other, compare the formulas, compare the shades, and really narrow down the ones that I really enjoy actually wearing. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a grand total of 30 lipsticks. They all fit into these three containers and I have them categorized by my more nude shades, um, my red shades, and then my non-red bold shades. As you'll see, as we start to try these on, you'll see that there are some sort of categories of shades that I have a lot of. I have a lot of corals, and oranges, weirdly enough. I also have a lot of reds. And in the past, I used to be really a lot more into bold lip colors. And I definitely want to keep in mind that, you know, my tastes change all the time. Like I'm always going through different phases where I'm really into bold. Right now I'm in a, a really big nude phase, so I'm probably not going to get rid of a lot of my nude colors. But, you know, I want to get rid of any like overlapping shades or shades that I just don't like on myself. And one thing I think I've learned over the past few years of panning and just trying to be an intentional makeup consumer is that I don't need to have every possible color under the sun. Like, not every color looks good on me. Not every color is just a color that I'm gonna want to wear, and I don't need to have every possible color and undertone of every color that exists, because I I'm just not that kind of collector. So just because something is unique doesn't mean I need to keep it. That's kind of a big lesson I've been learning lately. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the nude colors. I have a little bit of one left over on my lips right now. In fact, let's just go ahead and try this one on. This is the one I'm wearing, but it's kind of faded quite a bit. This is the Urban Decay Shine Lipstick in Local. I really like this one. It's very comfortable. As you can see, it's got a little bit, bit of a shine. It's kind of like a sheer balm sort of lipstick. Very comfy. This is very much the kind of lipstick I've been enjoying lately. Just kind of these low maintenance ones. It's kind of a cooler toned nude color. Kind of has like a little bit of a purpley undertone, but it's not it's not too purple. Um, I've had some that are like almost a little too purple, but that one I really like, so I am gonna keep that. I think this is my only other purpley pink nude. This is Estate Pink Pony. So there is that Estate one on my lips, um, and there are the two swatched next to each other. There's the Urban Decay, there's the Estate. The Estate one, as you can see, is a little bit more matte, a little bit deeper, a little bit less sheer. And because those are my only two like really like more mauve-y, purpley toned nudes, I am gonna keep both. All right, so the next kind of subcategory of nudes is like kind of my cool pink nudes. So first I have e.l.f. Seriously Satin in Cream. This is one I don't normally wear on its own. Uh, I typically like to wear this as a center of the lip shade. As you can see, it's quite light on me. Um, I almost never wear this completely on its own. I typically will wear it on the center of the lips with another color or at least with like a lip liner, like a deeper lip liner. But that one I am going to keep because it's very useful to me. I really like it kind of as a mix-in with other shades. Next is the one that's currently in my project pan. This is the CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Honeyed Bloom. It's a very like um, soft pink sort of nude. This is such a pretty nude for the spring. I really enjoy this one on its own or again, paired with like a slightly deeper lip liner. So I am gonna keep that as well. Like I said, my nude lip collection, I'm not gonna be decluttering very much from, but just wait till we get to some of the bold colors. <laughs> then we have one from BK Beauty. This is the shade Inner Beauty. Okay, so I love the formula of this BK Beauty lipstick. I have actually three other shades of it as well. Inner Beauty, I'm actually thinking about decluttering. This one I feel like is just a little bit too medium pink for me. Typically if I'm going for a pink, it's going to be something a little bit lighter like the CoverGirl one or, or the e.l.f. one as like a center of the lip shade, but I don't really wear kind of like these medium toned mauve pink nudes very much. I find them, I feel like they kind of age my face a little bit in a weird way, so I actually think this is the first one I'm going to let go of. Okay, so I do have three more of the BK lipsticks. Let's see, this is one I'm not sure which category to put it in. I feel like it kind of fits more into like the pink nude category. This is the BK lipstick in the shade Acceptance. Okay, see that is a little bit more of a pink nude that I will wear versus Inner Beauty. Um, let me swatch those both on my hand so we can get a better look at those shades. 
They're actually quite similar. That's inner beauty, the deeper one that I decided to declutter, and that is acceptance. I just feel like acceptance is a little bit more flattering on my skin tone. So yeah, acceptance I will keep, and I will, of course, pass on inner beauty. All right, so another kind of deeper nude. This is the BK lipstick in the shade Passion. This is almost a red, like a red nude. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to put this into my red category because I feel like I'd rather compare that to some of my other like berries and reds because I mean it's kind of it's kind of like a deep rosy nude but on me at least it's more it's more in the red berry category so let's revisit that one. I'm kind of leaning towards decluttering that one but I'm not quite sure right at this moment. Okay, so the next category, which is actually my personal favorite nude category, is peachy nudes. The final one from BK Beauty that I have, this is the shade Kindness. This I'm definitely going to keep because this is my favorite of all of them. Yeah, that is my kind of nude. Something about that like slightly warm peachy nude, I just feel like is the most flattering on me. So that I'm going to keep for sure. All right, next is another one of my favorite peachy ones. This is the Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon in Santorini Sunrise. Definitely a little bit more of an orangey peach, but I love this one. It's kind of sheer. It feels like just a lip balm, very comfy, and it's just a great, like, true peachy nude. So that one I'm going to keep. Then I have Liar from Urban Decay. This is another favorite. This one is a little bit deeper than Kindness from BK Beauty. That's Urban Decay Liar. That's Kindness from BK Beauty. Yeah, and these are two of my go-to nudes. Even though they're similar, I just I, I still use them both so often because that's my favorite kind of tone for a nude. I like that this one is not too brown. It's not too deep, but it's still got like a little bit of depth to it. So I'm definitely keeping that. I also love the staying power on these Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. My lips are going to start looking really probably pretty irritated in a minute. But here's one that's actually pretty new to my collection. I got this as a point perk from Sephora. It's the Melt ultra matte lipstick in the shade Frisky, and this I feel like is pretty similar to Liar from Urban Decay, just way more matte and a little bit deeper and more brown. I've only tried this on once before. It smells like marshmallows, which I do really like. It is quite matte. It does kind of drag on your lips a little bit. See? I just feel like, even though this isn't that deep, it's just a little bit too deep for me. Like, Urban Decay Liar is not too deep, but this, it's just ever so slightly deeper. I feel like the matteness of it makes it look even deeper. I just think it's a little bit too brown. I have to be careful with browns on my skin tone because it's kind of similar to mid-tone pinks. They can age me a little bit, and I just feel like this is... It's just ever so slightly too dark and too brown. So yeah, I think that one is going to have to go as well. So the last nude, and the last peachy nude, is e.l.f. Seriously Satin in Nectar. Now this is kind of another very warm peachy nude. This one is a lot more of like a terracotta warm nude, but I love this color. It's weird because I don't normally like nudes that are this deep compared to my skin tone and this warm like it is kind of orangey but I think what I love about it is it's not too like tomato sauce orangey <laughs> and it's also not too brown like there's really not much brown to this shade at all and so it, I still feel like it works pretty well on my fair skin not necessarily with this eye look because this eye look is a little bit cool I tried to go with a very neutral eye look since I was going to be trying on so many different lipsticks today but still ended up kind of cool toned, but with like a nice warm or even like a green eye look, this is so pretty. I love it, especially in the fall, but like year round, this is a gorgeous color. And these e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipsticks are like $3, so love that. Okay, so actually pretty good. Those were all of my nudes, I think, unless I, unless I find any more nudes that were hiding from me. But out of those, I am keeping nine and getting rid of two, which is a pretty good ratio, especially because like I said, at least these days I wear nudes most often. So let's move on to some bold colors now because I have a lot of bold colors and you know I mentioned my preferences changing recently towards just more sheer comfortable like easy low maintenance lip colors is really what I've been gravitating towards but I do still like a bold color from time to time so I don't think I should just get rid of all my bold lipsticks. I don't think that would make sense because who knows a few months from now maybe I'll be back in a bold lipstick phase but I'm gonna start with my 
bold colors that are not red. Some of these are red-ish, but they're not like true reds. So let's start with my really vibrant orange corals. These are my three oranges. I have the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mango Sorbet. This brand no longer exists, and this is a pretty old one. <laughs> um, and then I have the CoverGirl Outlast Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bella Bellini. Those two look really similar. Like, I think Bella Bellini is a little bit lighter, but I mean, they're quite similar. And also, lately, like over the past year or so, really not into liquid lipsticks. I will wear them, you know? Like if I have one in a color I really like, I'll wear it, but it's definitely not my preference. So let's keep that in mind. Um, but let me go ahead and swatch these three on my hand first, just to kind of get a, a quick look at how they compare. Okay, so here are those three. We have Jordana Mango Sorbet, CoverGirl Bella Bellini and Elf Persimmon, and that's also from their Seriously Satin line. So as you can see, I mean, these are very similar, but they're slightly different from each other. I would say the Jordana one is the most red, but I think I can already say out of these two, I definitely don't need to keep both. And I'm feeling more inclined to keep the CoverGirl one. For one, the Jordana one is a few years old now, so it's probably nearing ex its expiration. And I think I do like the shade of the CoverGirl one just a little bit more. So let's just try on the Jordana one. I do really like this color. Okay, so there's Jordana Mango Sorbet. I've always loved this color. It is, it is gorgeous. It's so vibrant, so pretty. If you've been around for a while, you probably remember I used to be obsessed with this color. Here's the CoverGirl one. This one is just a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter, a little bit less red and more coral. All right, so there's Bella Bellini from CoverGirl. I just like this shade a little bit more. I think I like the formula a little bit better too. It's a little bit thinner, whereas the Jordana one's a little thick feeling, like kind of like more of your traditional liquid lipstick. I mean, this is still a liquid lipstick too, but it's just a little bit more comfortable. So I'm gonna keep the CoverGirl and pass on the Jordana. It feels like the end of an era. Um, I do miss Jordana dearly, but that one is getting quite old. All right, so then we have the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Persimmon. This is more of like a true orange. I really like this. I feel like the camera is not quite picking up the differences between these two. Like, they look almost identical, at least in my viewfinder, but in person, the e.l.f. one is more of like a true orange, whereas the CoverGirl one is more of like a coral. So I am gonna keep e.l.f. Persimmon. All right, so here's kind of a wild card one. This I would classify as a coral, but it's a very pink coral. This is Pucker Up from the brand Madame Glam. And uh, I don't know, I'm definitely considering passing this one on. It's a very comfy formula, like has a little bit of a shine to it, just feels very hydrating. But I've had this for a long time, and I feel like I'm always just forcing myself to wear it, but I, I hardly ever just naturally choose to wear this. But I think it's just time for me to get rid of this. <laughs> I had it in my makeup basket this past rotation, and again, with that, I just felt like I was always forcing myself to wear it. But every time I wore it, I was kind of just like, eh. I don't know. I, I do like it a little bit better sheared out, but even still, there are just other other shades I'd rather wear. So I think I'm also gonna let go of that finally. My last two corals are both from e.l.f. and these are both kind of more on the sheer side. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cheery. This I've been loving lately, like I cannot stop using this. So this I'm not gonna get rid of, but. This has been the kind of formula I've been really into lately. Just these sheer, like more balmy sort of products. I just think this is a great coral shade. It doesn't have too much like yellow to it. Um, not that I mind like a more yellowy orange, but it just has the right amount of like reddish pink. And I just, I really like it. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite lip products this summer. All right, so then we have the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Coral Cutie. So this is a little bit more orangey, but it's another like sheer coral, another type of formula that I've been really into lately. Now, the only thing about this lip stain, at least this shade, it doesn't really stain my lips. And I don't know if that's because it's already not that far off from my lip color, like maybe some of the other shades stain better, but this one, it fades pretty quickly, but I still really like this kind of just sheer, juicy 
coral wash on my lips. So out of my corals, I got rid of two and kept four. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. And I feel like the four ones I kept, they're all very different formulas. We have a liquid lipstick, a bullet lipstick, kind of like a balmy lipstick, and then a glossy lip stain. All right, so next up I have like bright pinks and I have three of these. So this one I am kind of on the fence about. This is the e.l.f. Er, Elf Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Flirty and Fabulous. This is a very blue-based top pink. That is such a fun color, isn't it? I don't have anything else like this, but I do feel like this makes my teeth look yellow, even though, you know, you would normally think a blue-based color would make your teeth look whiter, but for me, I almost feel like it's the opposite. There are definitely some like really, really cool toned shades like this that I actually feel like do make my teeth look more yellow, weirdly enough. And I do think this is a really pretty color, but I think these other two pinks just suit me a little bit better. So yeah, I think I'm actually going to let go of that flirty and fabulous shade. So then we have one that I like a little bit better. This is Art Walk from Urban Decay. This is a little bit more of like a medium, like strawberry pink. Yeah, that's a fun one. That one I do feel like is just a little bit more flattering on me. Yeah, it's a little bit brighter, a little more colorful than a nude pink, um, but it's not like a, whoa, that is a hot pink you're wearing. <laughs> so yeah, I like this one. I am gonna keep this one. So then I have a very like reddish raspberry pink. This is the CoverGirl 24 Hour Matte Lipstick in the shade Thrill Seeker. I have talked about this formula a lot. This is a great matte bullet lipstick formula. If you want something long wearing but you don't want a liquid lipstick, I highly recommend this formula and it really does glide on. Ooh, yeah, that's a fun one. I definitely need to wear this sometime soon. I feel like this would be so pretty with just like a very simple light eye look. And just this is kind of like a bold statement look. Perfect for the springtime. Mm, I like that. Okay, keeping. All right, so in the last of my non-red colorful lipstick category, I have like wine colors. These are both kind of more vampy. I have Pina from Estate, which is like a deep, really pretty vampy purple. And then I have Merlot from Becca, which is a very deep like wine color. So this one is Estate Pina and this one is Becca Merlot. Not all that different from each other. Becca is just a little bit richer. I don't feel like I need to keep both of these because I don't wear colors like this very often, maybe a couple times in the fall and that's it. So let me try on the Estate one first. Maybe not the most precise application, but I like how smoothly this goes on. I don't feel like it goes on patchy. I like that it's kind of a thin formula as well. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go like sliding all around. I like that a lot. All right, then we have Merlot from Becca, RIP Becca. <laughs> Okay, kind of a messy application, try to ignore that. This is their ultimate lipstick love formula. And here's the thing about this formula. I feel like I would really like this in a nude color or like a mid-tone color, but I think this shade is just a little bit too deep and vampy for this hydrating of a lipstick. You can see it has some, you can see it has a little bit of shine to it. I just feel like this lipstick, it doesn't wanna stay fully in place. And as someone who doesn't really reach for this kind of color that often anyway, I think the formula of the Becca one is what kind of deters me from wanting to wear it more often. So I feel like I would love to have this color in like the CoverGirl 24 hour matte formula, just because this, I'm not worried about it moving around. But with this slightly more like shiny formula, I just, it's, it, it's too worrisome for me. So I think I am gonna say goodbye to the Becca one and keep the Estate one. I just feel more comfortable with this one. So out of that category of non-red colorful lip colors, I am keeping seven and getting rid of four. So again, I feel like that's a really good ratio for you know this size collection. And I just, yeah, these, all the ones I'm keeping are ones that I'm just a lot more excited to wear. Now I can actually wear them more because I'm not distracted by the other ones that I'm not gonna wear. So the final category is reds and I have nine of these. So let's start with my like true reds. These are like kind of what you think of when you think of red. These are kind of like your blue based reds. Starting with this one from Base Blue. This is their matte attraction lipstick in the shade 01. I really like this one. I like how it glides on nicely, like it's not dragging or like 
pulling at my lips. Like, look how smoothly that went on. Mmm, I love that. This is like, I definitely want to have a red like this in my collection. And this is going to be one that I do keep. It's just, it's the perfect red. Perfect for the holidays, perfect for, you know, anytime you want like a classic red, this is great. And it stays in place well because it is matte, but it's also not drying. So love that one. Okay, so I have two other kind of like classic blue-based reds. Um, this one here is the one I just had on, which is the base blue shade 01. This one here is from Estate, and it's the shade Cosmo. And then this final one here is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Rich Red. So Rich Red from e.l.f. I've always loved this matte lip crayon formula, but for some reason this one is a lot more sheer than I would have expected, especially based on the other e.l.f. matte lip crayons that I've tried in the past. So there's e.l.f. Rich Red. I definitely built it up quite a bit. But I just feel like between this and the base blue one, I'm going to want to reach for the base blue one. And this e.l.f. one is just a little bit too sheer for me. I really prefer how vibrant that base blue one is. So I think I am going to get rid of this e.l.f. one. So then we have another one of these estate lipsticks in the shade Cosmo. I like this one. The colors are just so similar that I think I just, I, I think I'm just going to keep the one base blue one. I feel like this is the one that you know, if I have the choice between these two, I'm probably going to go for the base blue because I do prefer a matte red if I'm going for a bold, like, really rich red like that. So I actually think I am going to pass on the Estate one as well. I just don't need to have multiple, like, similar colors like this, especially for how often I wear them, which is not very. Okay, so I do have one metallic red. I already know I'm going to keep this because it's just it's just a fun, special lipstick. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beso Shimmer. Very fun one. This is a great like holiday party lipstick. It's just fun to have. Um, am I ever going to use this up? Probably not, but I like to wear it from time to time. Definitely not the most low maintenance lip color either, but yeah, that one is going to stay. Next, I have more orangey reds. I have two of these. First, I have the Cloven Hallow Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fiesta. This one is so fun. Just kind of like a more red orange. And then I have Olvera from Urban Decay. This one's very unique. They describe this one as like a blood orange. So I still count it as a red. These are quite different from each other. I really don't have anything else like Olvera in my collection. Yeah, that's a unique one. Definitely not one that I reach for very often, but I am going to keep it because I do like it. I think it's fun, especially around the fall. I think that's just a fun, like, rich vibrant color that is a little unexpected. So I am going to keep that. So then we have Fiesta from Cloven Hallow. Yeah, that one's pretty fun. This is like still a pretty classic red, but it's just a warm toned one rather than like a blue based one. So I am going to keep that. And I did go ahead and swatch my two like oranges, Elf Persimmon and CoverGirl Bella Bellini. Those to me are definitely pretty distinct from the Cloven Hallow Fiesta. So I do feel like there is still a reason for me to keep this one in my collection. We are almost there. The last category is reds that are kind of more of a berry, and this includes that BK Beauty Passion lipstick that I moved over from, from my nudes to here, because I feel like this one is pretty similar to some of my others. So in this category, I have three. I have my last standing one from Madame Glam. This is the their lipstick in the shade Fig. There's that. I have Amazing Amal from Charlotte Tilbury in this little mini lipstick here. Well, those are honestly pretty similar, huh? And finally, that Passion Shade from BK Beauty. Wow, who knew those were so similar to each other? Not me. All right, let's start with Amazing Amal from Charlotte Tilbury. That is a great formula. It really does, like, glide right on but it is also matte, so I don't really feel like I have to worry about this one moving around too much. Let's keep that in mind. Then let's do Fig from Madame Glam. This one's a little bit more of like a sheer balmy kind of formula, which is really comfortable. I've always liked this one, but I've had it in my collection for such a long time, and I feel like I'm just never reaching for it. Um, and I really don't reach for this kind of color very often, so I really think I need to just keep one of these and, and ditch the other two. So that's Fig. Very comfy. That one's just kind of like a slightly shiny version of 
that Charlotte Tilbury one. And then we have Passion from BK Beauty. I can't argue with any of those. I mean, they're all lovely, but I think what's gonna make the most sense for me to keep is the Charlotte Tilbury one, because this is a mini, which is nice, because since it's not a color I wear very often, I think it just makes more sense for me to have it in a mini, something I could potentially pan if I wanted to. It's matte, so I don't have to worry about it moving around. I don't know, I honestly like them all, but I think that I'm just gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury one and pass on the BK Beauty one and the Madame Glam one. Okay, so we made it through. My lips are gonna need some serious lip balm after this, but that is everything. So um, I actually just recounted and we actually tried on 31 lipsticks. The e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain was the one that wasn't counted in my 30 number. That's because I normally count this as one of my lip glosses. So that means that we went through a total of 31 lipsticks and we decluttered 10. It feels really, really good to be letting go of these 10 lipsticks. I will certainly find a home for the ones that are not super old and expired, so they're not just gonna go to waste, but I'm also really happy that they're not going to be collecting dust and eventually expiring in my makeup collection. So that was my like super in-depth lip declutter, maybe even more in-depth than anyone really asked for, but this is what I felt like was the best way to really get a feel for everything I have, be able to compare all the different colors and formulas so that I can make the best possible decisions. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this declutter. Let me know if you enjoyed this format. Um, I have lots of other declutters on my channel in all kinds of different formats, so I'll leave that playlist link below if you're itching to watch more decluttering content. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. My channel is really all about keeping a curated collection that I love and really focusing on using what I have more than buying new things. So if that sounds like fun, I'd love to see you again soon. I am gonna go drench my lips in lip balm now, but thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye! Thank you.